today we are doing a brake fluid flush. And we're going to be using the Dot 4 Plus, purchased from Mercedes for this vehicle with currently 30,560 miles. This is part of the 30 day service that we're going to be doing. So first thing's important, you want proper brake fluid. I got this from Mercedes directly. MB331 is the spec for the Smart 4.2. This is a 2015 451 model, but that's the first thing. So the way this works is under the hood cover, hood cover you have your brake fluid, I would take the cap off. The cap also says, use only DOT4 fluid from a sealed container. I have two sealed containers, but one of them will be enough. Just letting you know. That's what it looks like after 30,000 miles. I don't think anyone's ever changed this. That is yellow. The fluid should be clear with a slight tinge to it. That is yellow. That's already really dirty. Time for a change. So the first thing we're going to be doing is using an oil extractor that has been cleaned. We're going to shove the nozzle into the brake fluid. I need both hands to do this so I can't show you how. Basically, we're going to shove this into the brake fluid and we're going to pull on the nozzle and it's going to suck everything out of the reservoir until the reservoir itself is empty. That's what it looks like now. Everything has been sucked out of it. As you can see, it's brand spanking new. You want to get it open. Once it is open, what we're going to do is we will top it up. You're going to need a funnel. It's perfectly clean. There's nothing in it. We're going to fill this up to the maximum and then I'm going to have somebody come help me. What we're going to do is I'm going to put it, attach a hose to the bleed screw right here. This is the bleed screw. And the way it works is you do the four furthest points from the brake pedal. Brake pedal is over there. So you do here, then the driver's rear, then the passenger front, then the um, driver front. But basically someone's going to be pushing on the pedal while this is slightly open and it's going to keep squeezing the fluid out. And as they let go and they keep pumping, it's constantly going to keep pumping dirty fluid out of here into a container, collection container. And the fluid's going to come out dirty. And we're going to keep doing that, keep pushing the dirty fluid out as we keep this top top. Never let this go empty. Because once it gets empty and you start continually pumping the brake pedal, you're going to start pushing air through it. And also air through your ABS module, which is bad. So keep this topped up. Keep pumping until clear fluid comes out of the out of the bleed nipple over there. So basically the way it works is as someone pumps, I reopen it like this. When they stop pumping, they're at the bottom of the travel, you close. So you open as they're pushing, you close when they're done. And you keep doing this every time. You can see the fluid down there. And the reason why you close when they're at the bottom of the pedal stroke is you don't want any air going backwards into the system. Okay, stop. So now, after every little so while, you come back here and you make sure that your reservoir does not go below the fill line. So you never want air getting sucked down there. Basically, what's that? once that is all done, you're going to want to put this rubber boot over the bleed nipple back on. That's, and that's not just brake fluid, that's also some oil. But just for that first one, we used the roughly, it's probably down about here. So we used about 0.6 of a liter because we're not flushing just that. We're also flushing the ABS unit and we're flushing all the lines all the way back here. That's the one that takes the most. Basically after this, we're going to repeat the, the driver's side rear, then the passenger front, then the driver's side front. There, just finished the last one. We used an entire bottle. And we opened the, the second bottle, so the fluid's been put pretty much to max. At this point, after you've done all four, you put the tire back on, you drop it back down to level, and then you go in back and you check brake fluid level. Now that's all been done, brake fluid is perfectly at maximum. Here's the second can that we had to open. The very first can is completely empty. So we cycled about, what is this? This is one liter. And this one's about here. So we cycled about 1.2 or 1.25 liters through the entire system, which is far exceeding what it needs to flush the entire system. So there it is. It's perfectly done. That's how you do it. And that's it.